subscribe to Dr. Khalkar's classroom channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In my previous lecture video, I have discussed about acoustic emission technique. In this lecture video, I will discuss about radiography testing and ultrasonic testing. So let's get started. The content of this lecture video is as follows. First of all, I will discuss about radiographic testing, history of radiographic testing, radiographic testing methods, advantages of radiography, and limitations of radiography. Followed by I will discuss about ultrasonic testing in which I will discuss about the setup of ultrasonic testing and its principle. What is the concept of eco sounding? Ultrasonic testing for thickness measurement method. And finally I will discuss about advantages and limitations of ultrasonic testing. First of all let's see the history of radiographic testing. The history of radiographic testing actually involves two beginnings. The first commence with the discovery of X-rays by Wilhelm Conard Rodgen in 1895 and the second with the announcement by Marie Curie in December of 1898 that demonstrated the existence of new radioactive material called radium. Radiographic testing is a non-destructive testing method which uses either X-rays or gamma rays to examine the internal structure of manufactured components identifying any flaws or defects by using the ability of short wavelength electromagnetic radiation that is high energy photons to penetrate various materials. In radiography testing, the test part is placed between the radiation source and the film or the detector. The material density and thickness differences of the test part will attenuate that is will reduce the penetration radiation through interaction processes involving scattering or absorption. The differences in absorption are then recorded on films or through an electronic means. In industrial radiography there are several imaging methods available. Techniques to display the final image that is film radiography, real-time radiography, computer tomography, digital radiography and computer radiography. There are two different radioactive sources available for industrial use, X-ray and gamma rays. These radiation sources use higher energy level, that is shorter wavelength, versions of the electromagnetic waves, that is the one segment of electromagnetic wave. Because of the radioactive involved in radiography testing, it is of paramount importance to ensure that the local rules is strictly adhered during the operation. Industrial radiographic testing makes use of X-ray or gamma radiation to create images that can show defects hidden inside the material. This technology is widely used to ascertain material integrity of wells, castings, piping, machine parts, pressure vessels and other objects. The method is fully non-destructive and surface preparation of the test piece usually isn't necessary. In many cases, radiographic testing can also be used to inspect industrial installations and that are in operation. X-ray testing is possible for materials with a maximum thickness of 50 mm and gamma ray testing is possible for materials with a thickness varying from 10 to 120 mm. Now let's see the radiographic testing procedure. X-rays or gamma rays are produced by a source of radiation, example Coulin's tube in X-rays. The material under investigation is placed in the path of the radiation and the photographic plate. The beam of radiation is allowed to fall on the material. Depending on the thickness and the absorption characteristics of the material, some amount of radiation will be absorbed and scattered. Absorption of radiations is different in regions inside the material where defect is present and that are free of defects. The scattered radiations produce an image on photographic plate. After developing the photographic plate and its analysis, the defects inside the material can be identified. 
with a single radiogram the presence of defect can be detected for getting exact position of the defect the radiation should be passed through the different angles in the material and the resulting set of radiogram is analyzed so this is the radiographic testing procedure as shown in this animated diagram the radiographic testing process on field is shown in this picture with the radiography equipment most of the radioactive material used in industrial radiography is artificially produced this is done by subjecting stable material to a source of neutrons in a special nuclear reactor now let's see the advantages of radiography testing virtually no surface preparation is required volumetric both surface and the subsurface indications can be found radiographic testing is suitable for inspection of assembled components as well as it is also suitable for in site and on stream inspections this testing is useful for many different material types the data which is obtained by radiographic testing is permanently recorded and deliverable in the form of film or digital file so these are the several advantages of radiographic testings now let's see the limitations of radiographic testings radiographic testing uses hazardous ionizing radiation which requires creation of safety perimeter the equipment which is used in radiographic testing is relatively expensive radiographic testing is relatively slow inspection process so it is time consuming this testing is very sensitive to flaw orientation in radiographic testings usually it is not possible to determine the depth of indications in radiographic testings two sided access to test object is required so these are the several limitations of radiographic testing now let's see what is ultrasonic testing ultrasonic non destructive testing is also known as ultrasonic ndt or simply ut is a method of characterizing the thickness or internal structure of a test piece through the use of high frequency sound waves the frequencies or pitch used for ultrasonic testing are many times higher than the limit of human hearing most commonly in the range from 500 kilohertz to 20 megahertz then what sort of materials can be tested with the help of ultrasonic testing in industrial applications ultrasonic testing is widely used on metals plastics composites and ceramics The only common engineering materials that are not suitable for ultrasonic testing with conventional equipment are wood and paper products. Ultrasonic technology is also widely used in the biomedical field for diagnostic imaging and medical research. Ultrasonic testing uses high frequency sound energy to conduct examinations and make measurements. Ultrasonic inspection can be used for flaw detection, evaluation, dimensional measurements material characterizations and many more to illustrate the general inspection principle a typical pulse or eco inspection configurations as shown in this figure is used a typical ultrasonic testing inspection system consists of several functional units such as the pulser or receiver transducer and display devices A pulser or receiver is an electronic device that can produce high voltage electrical pulses. Driven by the pulser, the transducer generates high frequency ultrasonic energy. The sound energy is introduced and propagates through the material in the form of waves. When there is a discontinuity such as a crack in the wave path, part of the energy will be reflected back from the flaw surface. the reflected wave signal is transformed into an electrical signal by the transducer and is displayed on a screen as shown in the neighboring graph the reflected signal strength is displayed versus the time from signal generation to when a echo was received signal travel time can be directly related to the distance that is the signal traveled from the signal information about the reflected location size orientation and other features can be sometimes be obtained now let's see the principle of ultrasonic testing as shown in this diagram left hand side a probe sends a sound wave into a test material there are two indications one from the initial pulse of the probe and the second due to the back wall echo on right hand side a defect creates the third indication 
and simultaneously reduces the amplitude of the back wall indication. The depth of the defect is determined by the ratio capital D by EP as shown in the graphs in the diagram. Now let's see the echo sounding process. As shown in this diagram, echo sounding is a process in which ultrasonic waves are generated by a transmitter. They are directed towards the object and reflection is received. By knowing the time required to cover distance between transmitter and object and velocity, distance of the object from the transmitter can be determined. As shown in this diagram, the distance between transmitter or the source and the reflector or object is small d. Therefore, to obtain the distance of an object, small d is equal to velocity of ultrasonic waves that is small v into time required for reflection capital T divided by 2. So d is equal to v into t divided by 2. With the help of this formula we can easily calculate or measure the distance of an object inside the material. Now let's see ultrasonic testing for thickness or gauge measurement method. Using a transducer ultrasonic waves of known frequency and velocity are sent along the thickness of a metal block or sheet. Ultrasonic waves travel through metal block and gets reflected from its bottom. The time required for reflection is calculated. As shown in this figure, a speed of ultrasonic waves and reflected time, that is echo time is known. Thickness or gauge of the metal block can be calculated using the relation of thickness, that is thickness of the object is equal to velocity into time divided by 2. With the help of this method, the technique is used for determination of gauge or thickness of the metal block or the sheet. Ultrasonic inspection is a very useful and versatile non-destructive testing method. Some of the advantages of ultrasonic inspection that are often cited which includes it is sensitive to both surface and the subsurface discontinuities. The depth of penetration for flaw detection or measurement is superior to other entity methods. Only single sided access is needed when the pulse echo technique is used. It is highly accurate in determining reflector position and estimating size and shape. Minimal part preparation is required for this testing. Electronic equipment provides instantaneous results. Detailed images can be produced with automated systems. It has other uses such as thickness measurement in addition to flaw detection. So these are the several advantages of ultrasonic testing. Now let's see what are the potential limitations of ultrasonic testing. Ultrasonic flow detection requires a train operator who can set up a test with aid of appropriate reference standards and properly interpret the results. Inspection of some complex geometries may be challenging. Ultrasonic thickness gauges must be calibrated with respect to material being measured and applications requiring a wide range of thickness measurement or measurement of acoustically diverse materials may require multiple setups. Ultrasonic thickness gauges are more expensive than mechanical measurement devices. As with all non-destructive testing methods, ultrasonic inspections also has its limitations which includes Surface must be accessible to transmit ultrasound. Skill and training is more extensive than with some other methods. Skill and training is more extensive than with the some other methods. It normally requires a coupling medium to promote the transfer of sound energy into the test specimen. Materials that are rough, irregular in shape, very small, exceptionally thin or not homogeneous are difficult to inspect. Cast iron and other coarse grain materials are difficult to inspect due to low sound transmission and high signal noise. Linear defects oriented parallel to the sound beam may go undetected. Reference standards are required for both equipment calibration and the characterization of the flaws. So these are the several limitations of ultrasonic testing. In this picture, at a construction site, a technician tests a pipe well for defects using an ultrasonic phased array instrument. The scanner, which consists of a frame with magnetic wheels, holds the probe in contact with the pipe by a spring. The wet area is the ultrasonic coupling that allows the sound to pass into the pipe wall. 
so in such a way ultrasonic testing can be done now let's see one problem which is based on ultrasonic testing find the echo time of ultrasonic pulse which is traveling with the velocity 3.1 into 10 raised to 3 meter per second in mild steel the correct thickness measured by Gauss meter is 9 millimeter. So the solution for this problem is as follows. We have formula thickness small t is equal to velocity of ultrasonic waves small v into time required for reflection capital T divided by 2. So t is equal to vt upon 2. So rearranging this equation we can write capital T is equal to small t into 2 divided by v. Therefore, we can write t is equal to 9 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 2 divided by 3.1 into 10 raised to 3. So, after calculating this, we can get time t is equal to 5.8 microseconds. So, this is the echo time of ultrasonic pulse which is traveling with the velocity 3.1 into 10 raised to 3 meter per second in mild steel. This is all about radiography testing and ultrasonic testing. In next lecture video, I will discuss about nanotechnology. So please don't miss my next lecture video. Thank you. Below this video in the description, the link of important information related to this video is given. Please go through it. Please like and share this video and subscribe to Dr. Khalkar's classroom channel to get the notifications about my upcoming videos. Thank you.